called the trombonist. And in this video, I'm going to show you some techniques on how to go about being able to flutter tongue. The interesting th thing about flutter tonguing is some people are born with the ability to grasp onto it quicker than others. Now that doesn't mean it's impossible. If it's a little bit of a challenge for you, there are some ways that you can go about to be able to exercise the specific muscles in your tongue to utilize this technique. For Spanish speakers, it's going to be much easier as in your language, you're used to rolling your R's a lot and it's a very similar thing. Without the mouthpiece, I'm going to show you what it sounds like. It's, if you can do this, that's all that's going on to get that effect. This is what it sounds like with the mouthpiece. Okay. So what if you can't do that? It's all right. We got to slow down the process. We're going to slow it down so much that it's going to give your body the ability to adapt more towards that direction to utilize this technique. So if you think about what's really going on and we slow down the syllables, the tongue is producing some kind of a ha 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 So if the first syllable that comes out of your mouth is a ha, it creates a platform for your tongue to to bounce off of it and start the process for the rolling. So what I would do if I were you is I would practice it like this. Ha re re it's a it's a actual um, a cross between an an re re an H sound and an R sound. Ha re 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 so I would just practice that. I would go ha re 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 I wouldn't even go to the instrument until you can do it without the instrument. If you can't do it without the instrument and create the rolling technique with your tongue, then it's never going to come together with the instrument. So I would just practice it like this. You can practice this. That's the great thing about practicing tonguing exercises, practicing articulations, is you can practice these things anywhere. I'll often be at the line at the post office. People think I'm nuts. I'm practicing tonguing exercises. Da -da 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 doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And it's really great because you can you can do a lot of practicing off of the horn on your instrument way more than you really think. Uh, I even can go through scale motions and different patterns and then when I come to my instrument sometimes they work themselves out because I go through the whole process of it just mentally. We'll have to talk about that another time. So that's how you do it, and you work it up. And then once your body feels it clicking and starting to come together, then you can, you'll know right away, and then you can just roll with it, no pun intended. How do you apply that with the buzz, you may be asking. Great question. So that's a whole other ball game right there. So if you can't buzz on its own, then you got to be able to buzz on its own first. Right? Then you go. And then you fuse them together. And 
and there you have yourself a flutter tongue. Comes in handy if you want to get that rubbing effect where it's just like, oh, it's it's a it does have a really nice application, uh, and you can use it with the plunger too to get extra dirty. I hope this helps. I really do. My debut album, Journey to the World, is out. I'm going to put a link in the description. If you haven't heard it already, I think you may enjoy this one as it charted as an Amazon bestseller and it's fusing the acoustic principles of the trombone into the electronic world. You'll be able to check that out. Link in the description. Uh, my equipment's always listed to on the descriptions or on my website. Everything's on my website, my shows, paulthetrombonist.com. It's a fun thing. And if you're subscribed to these videos, thank you. And also click notified. That way you'll get notified when they get uploaded. If you're not subscribed, um, no pressure, but if you enjoy this content, I think you may enjoy subscribing to this channel. And spend some time on this channel. There are, I guess now there are hundreds of videos uh, with featured guests talking about little gems of wisdom that they've encountered in their life and there's also other trombone tutorials, music tutorials, uh, covers, arrangements, there's all kinds of stuff on this particular channel, the Paul the Trombonist channel. I love my patrons. They really help with these videos. They help support what I'm doing and it really helps me out tremendously. Their names pop up on these credits at the end. If you'd like to become a, a patron of mine, I send out some things once in a while, some downloads that, I, that the rest of the public doesn't quite get to hear, and they get their names on the credits and other kinds of cool stuff. It's patreon.com slash Paul the Trombonist. Love the patrons. Love the people that are watching here. I love it when you comment. I love it when you hit like on these things. Uh, we figured out that the little algorithm, these videos pop up and other people are more aware of them with the more activity going on, the more liking, the more commenting. And if you enjoy these, I hope to see you in the next episodes. And if your friends may enjoy this channel, uh, help spread the word about the Paul the Trombonist channel. I really appreciate it so much. There's a lot more stuff coming up. Working on a few things simultaneously that I think you're really going to be excited about. Because I'm really excited about them. Paul the Trombonist, signing off here. <laughs>